All right, we're gonna see if the world's smartest artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, can tell us why Trimbalone is so dangerous. And then I'm gonna tell you if I agree with it or not. All right, so we're looking at ChatGPT again today. We're gonna to see if it can give us some information on Trimbalone, and then I'm gonna tell you the truth about why it's so dangerous because it's really hard to, to research it and actually find the answer that I'm gonna give you, but it, it's out there. So let's see what it says. Why is Trimbalone dangerous? Trimbalone is an anabolic steroid considered dangerous because of potential for side effects. Yes, now remember, with Trimbalone, the thing to, you have to remember is this, the history of Trimbalone. It was, it was used in humans. It was FDA approved at one time. And it might mention that it's not FDA approved now, which it's not. So at one point it was FDA approved. And the clinical dosage, if I remember correctly, was somewhere like 75 milligrams every 10 days, I think is what it was started at. And we have a, a lot of studies on this in, in humans. We have it on men, we have it on women. They, there's a really famous study where Trimbalone was used for women for osteoporosis. And they found out really quickly that the androgenic side effects were just too high for Trimbalone. And you know, if you understand the history of steroids in general, then the whole point of steroids is the fact that we had testosterone and they're trying to make all these other drugs, different pharmaceutical companies that will give the therapeutic benefits of testosterone without that androgenic side effects to women, people that are sensitive to androgens, right? So women, elderly people, someone with certain diseases, things like that. And Trimbalone, was approved and then the FDA was like whoa this stuff is actually so terrible we messed up we're pulling it so then it was just used for cattle and then of course you know the story bodybuilders went into uh, southern states and some of these these farm supply stores and started getting the the trimble and pills essentially melting it down and injecting it whatever so side effects the side effects are dose dependent when you look at the studies trimblone is safe but absolutely no one watching this video is going to be taking it and the dosages that are safe. I'm not stupid, I get it. So what are the side effects? Cardiovascular problems, yes. Any anabolic steroid is gonna mess up your cholesterol levels right off the bat. If, they, if you're taking something and it doesn't, then it's probably not real. Next up, increase of heart attack and a stroke. Yes, Trimblone is definitely known for increasing blood pressure. Any kind of anabolic steroid is gonna increase it. But most of these side effects have to do with the binding affinity of Trimblone. It's just so strong, it binds so strongly to different receptors. Blood pressure, it's going up, mainly because of the uh, angiotensin system, and you'll see your aldosterone go up as well. Just We'll talk about that in a different video. So hormonally, suppresses testosterone. This is a big one because dudes in the gym, dudes, I'll say kids in the gym, they want to take Trimblone. Crazy, but yes, they do. They don't understand that it suppresses your testosterone big time. Like, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Trimblone was even looked at as male birth control, which is... <laughs> If it's shutting you down that much, you probably should have some testosterone with it for a number of different reasons. Mental, so that's the big one. It didn't get into specifics, but mental is the, the big one. Skin and hair, acne, reproductive system, infertility. Um, using trouble without a prescription is illegal. Well, you can't get a prescription for it, so I don't want to say that. Anyway. Yeah, so the big one is uh, is your mentals, <laughs> all right? So Trimbalone, the thing with that, like I said earlier, the reason it works so well at building muscle, and you know that's sort of uh, another topic on its own, how well does it actually build muscle, but it binds to the androgen receptor super strong, okay? Just like all steroids, they do. Now, the thing you have to remember is all anabolic steroids can pass through the blood-brain barrier and get to your brain. Now, the thing with Trimbalone that's different from all the other steroids is it actually binds way more to your receptors in your brain in comparison to other steroids, okay? So that's why when you take it, it messes up your circadian rhythm. It messes up your sleep, uh, the different types of sleep you go into, deep sleep. You have certain sleeps where you're like partially awake. It messes all that up. Now, the big thing with Trimbalone, without getting into the weeds of the science of it, you can definitely look this up and see what I'm talking about. So, you know, throughout the day, we'll just say you get stuff built up in your brain, okay? Now, when you go to sleep at night and go through your deep sleep, this stuff gets cleaned out and you start fresh in the morning, kind of like you're restarting a computer that's having some memory issues or whatever, right? You restart it, you're good to go in the morning. Trimbalone specifically messes up the system and the downstream cascades that let you clean this stuff out. And it is dose dependent. The more dose, the higher the dose you take, the more likely you're not gonna get this stuff cleaned out. Now, what could happen if this stuff is not cleaned out? Alzheimer's, dementia, crazy anxiety, 
there's so many things that could happen. It's just, you don't want it, man. So I think that to me, the most dangerous thing about Trimbalone is it's neurotoxic. Like one of the worst, it's gotta be probably top two in my opinion, between that and Boldenone. So in my opinion, you really shouldn't be using Trimbalone unless, unless you're a competitor and you actually have a shot at winning. And like, and even then it's very situational. So if you have anxiety, depression, things like that, aggression, I would stay far away from Trimbalone because it's gonna mess you up. And it looks like ChatGPT was this close to giving us exactly what, what we needed here, but it's not bad. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a lot. Thank you.